Yo, what's up guys? You got PokeAim here with the Pokemon Spotlight. This time we're going to be featuring Como. Now, Como is... Oh, got a lot of buffs, not just on the moon, and uh, it actually is a really, really solid dragon in the U tier, in my opinion. Um, a few... Let's talk about its shorts before we talk about, you know, what it actually excels at, I think. Um, so one thing, it does have dragon ants, right? But it is pretty slow. Uh, it's unfortunately slower than common Scarfers, like Hydreigon, which can otherwise revenge kill it. And obviously Latias is outspeeds it as well. Um, but it does, however, have some great abilities that allow it to do setup as well as Swords Dance, uh, again, Dragon Dance, and Atatomize. So it can boost in every sort of way. It can run physical or special, has a great uh, signature move as well. Obviously, in the UU tier, its Z move is banned, but before it wasn't, it had an Omni boosting move as well. Uh, Swords Dance with Dragonium can deal with uh, fat teams as well, breaking through glide score, and has that bulk to just take hits, man. It really has that bulk to just take to hits. 125 defense, 105 special defense, so uh, versus the balance team, this mod really excels at, Swords Dance really excels at, uh, decent speed tier though, again, but, but slower than Hydreigon, which is really bad, but fat, uh, speed ties at least with hair across and faster than like standard glide scores and whatnot, unless they're running a 300 speed. Uh, for Needle King and whatnot, those are more offensive, but has that bulk, has access to Stealth Rock. Uh, really, just just hates the fact that um, it, it it just is slow, but it has the bulk to set up on a lot. It has access to Drain Punch as well, so that's a decent um, move to take advantage of. That also gives you recovery, and actually has the uh, the move set to break through fairies because it does have Iron Head and Poison Jab, uh, Ice Punch for a Pokemon like Gliscor. And um, again, the uh, great abilities, uh, bulletproof, obviously making you immune to uh, Shadow Ball, so you can actually check like a Choice Gengar, whatnot, Sludge Bomb, Focus Blast, but Soundproof I think is a really big one too, uh, because you can actually set up on Pokemon like Sylveon, unless they're running Moon Blast, you take on the Hyper Voice and whatnot. Uh, and Overcoat obviously means you can't be put to sleep by Spore Moves, so that's pretty cool too. So I can check Braille naturally as well if it's just typing. Uh, so, cool Pokemon. Uh, excited for the showcase should be a lot of fun. We have a few teams right here. First one's from Captain I Suck, uh, showing off Swords Dance Stealth Rock set, just an offensive Stealth Rock one, similar to like Garchomp uh, in the OU tier. Uh, Parish Trap Azu with Pursuit Muck, T Spikes Tentacruel, Mega Manetric, and then we have Sub Leech Seed um, Superior. So I'll just pause it, guys, until we find a battle, and we'll be right back. Guys, so we got a battle, and I think this is a perfect one for the set that we have. We have Swords Dance Combo. He actually has his own combo, which is. Uh, a stupid threat versus my like it's ridiculously strong versus me too uh, so i'm a little bit worried about him reverse sweeping me but hopefully azu can deal with that although if he is soundproof he blocks my pair of songs so uh depends on his set uh, also i want to say that drop draco socks are only available for about a day uh there's a little bit over a day well a lot over a day but there is about a day left uh, if you guys want to pick them up link is down below so swords that's combo puts in a lot of work versus him just naturally i'm only tentacle because i want t-spike up as he leaves Manetric, I don't mind him going for Thunderbolt. I think T-Spike is just really nice versus him. Uh, wearing down Alamola, Como, and whatnot. Thunderbolt's not going to Oko me anyway. And I do have my own Manetric with Lightning Rod, uh, thankfully. Another Mon that puts in a lot of work versus him is Subseed Superior. Um, avoids Toxic from Registeel, and I can just Subseed it down. Uh, can set up on Pokemon like the likes of Alamola. But I really want T-Spike up. He does have two Defoggers right here in Gliscor and Volcanion. That T-Spike just helps me a lot. Uh, versus uh, mainly Como. Como is a giant threat. I don't know what set is running. Hey man, have fun. I don't know what set it's going to be running. Uh, Dragon Dance could happen. Uh, definitely not the Rocker. I'm pretty sure that's Registeel. You want to use Registeel for that role. Appreciate that, dude. Um, Parish Trap Azu, man. Ooh, putting in some work too. I like that. Okay, hopefully Muck is enough. Yes, man. Let's uh. Hopefully Muck is enough to deal with Volcanion plus Manetric as well. Um, though my own Manetric is really nice. I'm going to myself. Don't worry about it, dude. You'll be fine. Uh, Volt switches immediately. I mean, again, Thunderbolt wouldn't knock me out. I don't mind him Volt switching. Uh, I just like the fact that I get up. My hatch is right here. His Registeel is going to come out. Um, so this is a really interesting one that he went Registeel because... Technically, I'm supposed to beat this 1v1, but... Could toxic me. Do I want to go hard Como? I really don't want him statusing Como. At the same time, I'd rather go uh, Como right now and get up my rocks potentially uh, as he gets a Piz. Uh, we're actually going to Swords Dance because Toxic doesn't matter too much. And if I get up a plus two and he goes like Gliscor, I'm just going to go right for my Dragonium and knock him out. He actually can't like revenge kill this thing too well. And I prefer knocking out Gliscor than getting up my rocks. 
uh, because that could be his defogger. Yep. So gets in his glide score. I'm able to go right for Swords Dance. Even if he switches back on to Registeel, Registeel being gone helps out Superior. So uh, regardless, this is this is good for me. So plus two Dragonium should be able to knock out Glide Score and dent anything that he wants to go into. And if I get rid of Glide Score, which I'm hoping is his main defogger, then um, if, yeah, if I get rid of Glide Score, which I'm hoping is his defogger, then that T Spike is there to stay, which will be wearing down Manetric whatnot. And you guys get to see how much work Como puts in. And this is like makes it a balance breaker. So this will definitely get rid of Glide Score right there. Great. Uh, that means if I get up my rocks, they're here to stay. Unless again, that Volcanion is there. And he can't even knock out this Como, guys, from full. He cannot knock out this Como from full. Mega, Mega Manetra comes out. I'll just close comment the hell out of him right now. Because you have no fighting resist and Mega Manetra will go down. And he knows he can't HPI, so he's just trying to... Um, he's trying to wear me down with the Intimidate. If that makes sense. I think that makes sense. A nice, nice Toxic. That does some big damage. Go ahead and get up these rocks too because I don't want him switching around anymore. So, one of the plays I could make would be go out into Tentacruel and get up a second layer as he throws off a skull. Thankfully he doesn't get a burn. I will go up to Tentacruel now and get a second layer just because I'm a little bit worried about, again, that Como being a giant threat for me. Uh, okay, I could go for Close Comet here too because he doesn't switch in it. Yeah, let me do it. Whatever, I'll do it. Because of poison, he can't take the hit. That's funny. Do I want to do... Because <sighs> if I go for close combat, something goes down. He has to switch, and he's going to sack some... But I want, I want that second layer T-Spike. I think in the long run, it's a lot smarter just because, again, Como is that big threat. And if it's like Dragon Dance Drain Punch, I literally cannot beat it with one layer. So I need to go for a second layer right here. I don't think you should go Manetric because a neutral close combat with Stealth Rock plus Poison will be able to deal with you. So we get in Tentacruel here. As he goes for Scald, that's completely fine. Either going for a roll or trying to uh, 1v1 it. But we'll be able to get up a second layer right now. And again, that'll be really, really important. So Como did its job already early, breaking through his team and getting rid of Gliscor, which I'm hoping was his defog, which means that with these two hazards up, one, my superior just wins. Like, my superior actually just wins. And two, um, well, it depends on what he goes now. If he actually goes hard combo, which makes sense, because I can get up a T-Spike. Um, thankfully, goes out into Mega Metric. So, I get up that second layer. Great. Before combo comes out, absolutely amazing. And Tentacruel can still come in. I don't see a reason not to go Muck, because it's literally here for this and Volcanion. And if he goes for HPIs, I get to pursue him as he goes for Volt Switch, but he still can't come in on a neutral attack for me now, and I can get off a knockoff on anything. Though you could go Como, but I really don't mind him going Como now that I got in the... Unless it's Lumberry. But don't be Lum. Unless it's Lum, but don't be Lum. So, we'll get in Tentacruel and just spin. I could knock him off, but I don't think him losing his item matters, especially when Serpier sits up on him anyway. Uh, I might as well attempt to spin that way if I switch in on Manetric later. It doesn't make a difference. Just rapid spin right now. As it goes out into Manetric. Most likely. Don't mind. Uh, one layer on Alamola, again, isn't going to matter too much in this game. One layer legitimately does not matter. I don't, I don't, I mean, if I knock him off, actually, like, that poison does make a difference, but uh, Como comes out, and we are for sure going for Haze right here. We are for sure going for Haze. I do get the Toxic off on Como, which is what I wanted. Um, no heal ballers on his team that I know of. Uh, we are for sure spamming Haze. Not only do we get rid of the hazards, but we're not letting this bad boy set up on me. Hell no. You can go ahead and go for your Dragonium if you want to. Uh, you are way too much of a threat to let set up. You are way too much of a threat to let set up. My Como already broke through his Glide Score too, so this T-Spike, that Toxic is there to stay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Go out to Registeel, I'm assuming he's just going to go for the Sizant Toss, which my Como actually ends up living too. Um, 
Actually, I don't see a reason not to go Ozzy right now. Because it just Parish Traps something. As he gets up a Thunder Wave, that shouldn't matter. As long as I'm able to land my, um, my Whirlpool right now. I mean, he could go uh, Volcanion. Which the only thing he could do is Sludge Bomb, so I can go back on Tentacruel and tank it. They don't time out, buddy. No, I'm, I'm, I'm finishing this off with Como. If you take too long, I'm putting the timer back on you. But just don't take too long. That's it. It's only been 15 turns, 8 minutes. We got time. So if he does stay in here and I get rid of this, the threat is gone. Hey, so that Registeel is essentially mine as long as I get off a of Parish Song this particular turn. As long as I get off my Parish Song this particular turn, we're good. Uh oh, Para Flinch. <laughs> Sorry about taking so long, my laptop is slow. It's okay. I just want I just want to play. So there's no point in going for Parish Song. I might as well just try and weaken him a little bit more. Um, because Whirlpool will end before it, so he's not going to be trapped, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I mean, it's still doing decent damage, I guess. That little percentage return. Dude, this dude flinched me three times in a row. This is Jirachi. Whirlpool should end this turn, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. So Whirlpool should be ending this turn. Or next turn. Ooh, wait. I could have still perished song, maybe. It's four to five turns, so I guess I got the five turn one. Hey, all right. This is the this is turn ends. So if I if, if I would have known I got the five turn one, I would have went for Parasong. But I'm assuming he's gonna switch out to Volcanion. Yep. Smart as he should. Uh, however, that Mon is really low. Unfortunately, oh, I mean Registeel is low or lower than what it could have been. Um, just slow is what I meant to say. He could Earth Power here. I don't think I mind that though. I'm just gonna go out into. I mean, Como naturally checks you. Uh, Tentacruel literally just spins. And I wanna keep Azumarill alive because it just means it can Parish Song something. Again, if I got that, that Parish Song off, it was over. It was a wrap. Nice Earth Power play. We can bring out Superior now and Sub. The reason I like Superior and Sub is it cover, uh, covers a Registeel double and it also covers potentially Assault Vest on the Canyon. And I get to find out if he's Scarf or not. I could be taking too much poison damage soon too. Uh, I'm not I'm not trying to uh, Hope you guys see I'm not trying to actually uh, go off a miss, but mainly I'm making sure that this mon goes down To a leaf storm Though obviously if he does happen to miss then you know he misses what can I do? All right, this should knock him out a leaf storm Wow Okay, I did not expect that to fail to KO. So that's my bad. Um, I really didn't expect that to fail right there to KO. Uh, however, we can bring a Manetric. It might be a little bit worse now. Eh, Como still pounds through him. Like, literally. Bring a Manetric, get off some damage. Swords Dance up and close combat through his squad. Yeah, why not? Manetric also is the play because it means that if he goes Como... Or even his own Manetric... If I win a speed tie over, he knock him out. Why not? I'm out of range of his. I'll go for it. It also hits Registeel. It's going to be an issue, though, for his own... Uh, I can't believe he's going to knock out. I should have calc that. I should have calc that. Oh, I should have just went for the sub then and went, went for it. Uh. But if I win the speed tie, it's nice. So, Manetra doesn't end up going down, unfortunately. This means that Como can come out, but I do have Protect on Azu plus Poison Damage, so, and Intimidate. So it should be okay. And last two Mons lose to Como. Alright. Let's go, uh... Let's just Volt Switch right now. Bring out Young Azu immediately because you do not have recovery. That that para that para might be the difference between me losing right now because I have to get off this protect. I have to get off this protect right now. Come on, 
Come on, buddy. Please don't get paralyzed. Or lost enough games to it. <laughs> I wouldn't have to play this way too if I if I uh, beat down the register, but it's okay. It is indeed okay. Ah, take some damage. I wonder if he drain punch right now. I think he should, but regardless, Muck is expendable. I like Como because it just clicks close combat versus Registeel and knocks it out. And Manetric obviously clicks Thunderbolt. He doesn't care about Aloe. Nice, nice, nice. Nice poison jab. Okay. Beautiful. He doesn't recover enough either if he goes for a Drain Punch. Actually, he switches out to Alamolo. Surprising because now Como doesn't come in on anything and I'm going to knock off your item, which is big. That's really big. Like, you can't wish pass. Yeah, no, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah, so that turn, <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, he, should, he had to protect there, but we just make sure he doesn't get anywhere uh, with that. And, I mean, I, mean, I, I messed up with Superior. I, He has to set up on me, and Poison Jab does knock him out. Otherwise, he'll get his wish, though. So, goes for close combat. Oh, yeah, wish ended that turn. What am I saying? Wish was on turn 32. Duh. All I gotta do is click that Vol switch right here, because I will be able to knock out Como after the... Uh, yo, I was like, yo, I was mixing it up with like some ADV stuff where you get in the beginning. I don't know what was going through my mind right there, but yeah, it's over. And we got to King Como, which made this all possible with that T-Spike. Ah, I love when a showcase shows off the Pokemon immediately. Game. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, Coolio. So, nice team. All right, this one we have one from Velcom. It's some Spikes offense. Uh, let's look at it real quick. So we have Dragon Dance, Bulletproof, Como, Upper Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Focus. But I kind of think that Hyper Voice is a little bit better. But I mean, uh, Hyper Voice stopping Soundproof is a little bit better, but we'll see. Uh, Focus, Cobra Berry, uh, Gengar with, um, with Destiny Bond, Focus, Sash, Azov, Leaf, Spikes, Klefki with Hidden Power Fire. And then, of course, we have Adam and Mega Sharpedo. Everybody knows how I feel about... This is how I feel about Adam and Mega Sharpedo. Uh, but yeah, we'll pause it, guys, until we find a battle. Be right back. So we might have to make a new account soon because waiting for these battles is taking way too long. We're number nine. I still can't believe that... Uh, that's, like, Pokemon. I don't think Piff has played on Pokemon this one in a while. That's why. But yeah, like, waiting for these battles is taking a really long time. Really cool team on my opponent's team. I actually kind of wish I had the Swords Dance one, like, last time. But this one's good, too. Um... That's a threat. Taunt Gengar is amazing versus him. So like Azov has a lead though, he can lead Cloyster and just try and set up. But he leads Glide Score, which is great. Still get up my rocks. Don't mind you going for that Protect, as you might be sub Protect Toxic. Um, I can just Taunt right here too. Prevent anything from Toxicing me or not. As he goes for Knock Off, and then we just Boom. Uh, boom catches everything. That did so much damage. Whoa! That did some damage. So I don't think Shadow Ball actually knocks him out. We'll go Como right here. And uh, I'm devastating Drake. I don't want to click that. I'm a Dragon Dance. Because if you go hard Blastoise, I'll be able to knock that thing out with the Z move. Um, and if you go Comfy, which is a great play right now. He doesn't go it, but... Uh, basically, if he went comfy right there, which is an amazing play, I could have gotten, I, I could have got in my Gengar. But because we do get rid of Blastoise, I think we're gonna be able to put in some work with our uh, Gengar versus him. As he does go comfy, we obviously don't want to take the, um, we obviously don't want to take the uh, Draining Kiss. So get in Gengar, get my Disable off, which is really nice, and just go for Taunt. I just Shadow Ball here. Uh, if you ring in Blissey, you actually have to have an attack in order to do any damage to me. And I have Dazzling Gleam as well on this thing, which is crazy. It's like I knew my opponent was bringing a combo out. Uh, but we can taunt this. As he does reveal the Flamethrower. I'm just Shadow Ball. Haha. -ha. I don't think he can hit me. He has Shadow Ball of its own. So I actually could have Dazzling Gleam this bad boy. 
that sucks. I don't know what to think about that now. Because I actually lose to, uh, to Comfy. That's really bad. Because I actually lose to Comfy now. I, uh, I didn't expect him to have that. Then again, if I lost that, I lost to Comfy anyway. I just realized what my team was. Do I have Toxic? No, I have Thunder Wave. Oh, Thunder Wave maybe. Because I know that Como is going to die. Woo! I mean, him protecting is odd because it still gives me a Dragon Dance, but it just means that... Uh, it just means that Comfy puts in work versus me. I'm going to just Dragon Dance and just start spamming Drain Punch, really. I think that's my play. Because if I outrage this thing... I have to outrage it. Man. Ah, I'm going to lose to the Comfy. Eh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Obviously, Draining Kiss is going to destroy me. I didn't expect it to be Flamethrower Shadow Ball Blissey, though. How am I supposed to expect that? Why is it so good versus me? We have a spike here and see if we can do anything with my Sharpedo. Anything at all with Sharpedo would be nice. I bet you his rabbit's been close from the squad too. But yeah, getting up spikes uh, and attempting to break through him with Sharpedo, I think is gonna be, have to be my game plan. Gonna cook it out on, I guess, the expected flamethrower. Yeah. And just earthquake. Oh my god, Blissey almost died. What? Why oh, Blissey almost died? <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna have to go for the Thunder Wave on Cloyster anyway, so. Yep. Still gonna have to Thunder Wave this bad boy anyway and try and do something with Shark. As he goes for rapid spin. Still gives me another earthquake. I mean, I'll still be able to get a spike. I can still Thunder Wave Como. Now I feel like he's Lumberry on Como. Because it was Rapid Spin Cloister. Comfy comes out. We go back on to Klefki. I mean, we still have to go off the, uh, the hacks. So I might as well Thunder Wave him and try spiking up and then going for some uh, Paras. Are you all out pummeling? I don't think I have a choice. But to hit you with Dazzling Gleam, yeah. And then we go off the paras on, uh, on, on Comfy. I think we literally have to go off the paras on Comfy. Still feel like I have to go off the paras on company. It's definitely Synthesis' his last move too. Hey, stay paralyzed. Cook it out and go off a para. Yes, no. Nice. Stay paralyzed again. Well, as I said, I do not have a choice here. Oh, why would I not Ice Fang? No, uh, Psychic Fang does more. And he breaks through. Uh, good game, dude. Uh, is it over? Yeah, even though he's only doing 19. If that's his only attack, maybe. No, oh, he has too much. Let yeah, me just forfeit. So, I think that there was potential there, but... Uh, my <laughs> All of these Mons... Even my Gengar technically lost to that one because I didn't have Sludge Bomb. So if it got him enough Calm Minds, it could actually beat me 1v1. Maybe with Cursed Body. That Blissey, though, threw me off. I thought with Flamethrower, okay, I can stay in. Go for Shadow Ball because he's forced to switch. Probably Silent Toss, Softball, you know, whatnot. Thunder Wave, can't touch me. Shadow Ball. That boy has Shadow Ball. Offensive Blissey blew me back. All right, so we need a team from Austrian George. I think it's Como or Ring. It's Choice Specs Como. 
Um, with Fly MZ Tornadus with Tailwind. Actually, isn't even rain. Just has blue Pokemon. Uh, with Fizz Def Seism Toad with uh, Grass Mouth to lure in the um, Swampert or lure the Swampert. Uh, Klefki with the Dazzling Gleam Thunder Wave, and then we have Guts Heracross. So I mean, I guess Como breaks through Pokemon like Gliscor. Or not just does some damage as well. Uh, we're gonna pause it, guys, until we find another battle. We'll be right back. All right, so we have a game, and my opponent has no Dragon Resist, so I am leading off with Lord Como. Do I have Defog? He has Defog, so it doesn't matter. Let him Defog for me. I'm gonna lead off with Lord Como and just start spamming. Of course, he leads off with Reinforce versus me, uh, which is really nice. So I can get. I have to get him Klefki now. Um, Sharpedo is really nice versus him in the late game things. Throws off an Energy Ball. Not the biggest of deals. I guess in Seism Toads, I'm able to get up my Spike. Beautiful. I need my own Seism Toads to deal with his... Uh, to deal with his uh, Raikou. But I think I can get him my Guts Boosted Heracross right now. Well, my Unguts Boosted Heracross. Excuse me. Go for knockoff of my own. That sucks. I, I expected a Scald. Even if I got burnt, that didn't matter. Uh, okay, burn me. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate that. And he's smart to switch out on the Crobat right there. I was like, okay, I wonder, I wonder if I'll actually make the, the correct switch. So his Crobat's Black Sludge. Uh, I'll allow him to uh, Brave Bird me, but he opts to Defog. Basically, if I got rid of that, um, it helps Como a lot because he doesn't Revenge kill me too well. Obviously, he does have Sceptile, though, which is definitely a giant threat. Tailwind is nice. Do my keys take two hits? I still like this Pokemon because it comes in on size until once. I don't know if he Dragon Pulse, but I'm gonna go to Keys in. Earthquake. All right, Tornadus comes in. Throw off an icy wind, which will be able to deal with that, and also hit the uh, Reuniclus coming out as well. Is that a Salt Vest? I cannot tell. I actually cannot tell. Like I, I can't tell based on the damage. I feel like he is though but by me getting up a spike right here i think i kind of ensure that heracross picks up a ko so that spike means you can't defog that um i think heracross picks up a ko right now and knock off here you go size until that's fine uh because size until will go down and knock off into facade beautiful i mean i should have went for facade there too i wouldn't know how much i did to remove this to be honest but uh Knock out that Seism Toad, awesome. Again, no Dragon Resist. If he goes Arcanine, I get in Como. No big deal. I don't have a Dragon Resist either, though. And my Sharpedo, though, is looking good. My Sharpedo is looking good. Just remember that. I don't switch into you at all, and I still want to keep this thing alive, so I'm just going to click uh, Facade right here. As he Dragon Pulse to knock me out. We'll get in our, uh, our Tornadus now and actually throw off uh, a Sky Strike. It is Regenerator. Uh, I'm assuming Regenerator Assault Vest then. Because, like, how, how are you taking this so well? Now, that's Regenerator Assault Vest for sure. Psychic would come out. Or Energy Ball. Hit. Thank you. Okay, so Reuniclus is gone. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, if he gets in Raikou, I go right out into Side and Toad. Even if he doubles out into um, Sceptile, which is a great play, I still make the exact same play. So really good play, but Tailwind into this could win me this game. I'm not gonna switch. I'd rather get up rocks to pressure Raikou and let um and let my Como win the game. Let him leaf storm me. Nice. Time to get in Como right now. Click that clanging scales because he's minus two. He might go Arcanine and suspects clanging scales to pick up a KO. Even if he stays in with Sceptile. Amazing. And uh, this should be game for my um, for my Sharpedo. I want to say, even if you sub or calm mind up, this does way too much damage. Ops the Volt Switch for some reason, as opposed to actually attacking me. And this means that Como is going to be able to put in some massive work one more, once more. Could be. And then all I got to do is Tailwind into Sharpedo, and it wins the game. So. Um, don't know why he did that, or he played that endgame like that. I don't even think HP Ice would've knocked me out unless he specs. Okay, he doesn't even opt to go for it. 
Ooh, nice Como, just blasting through his team. I mean, he had no Dragon Resist, but I make my Dragon Resist also wasn't a good Dragon Resist versus him because he had Earthquake and just got me early on with his um, with his Sceptile. But we got another Como team. This one is Dragon Ninja Gregonium with Ice Punch. Uh, we have Scarf Magneton uh, with Sub Seed Superior and SD Facade Glide Score. Nice offensive one too, faster than Neo King and whatnot. Scarf Lottie. And then we have a defensive seismic toad. So one more time, we're just gonna pause it, guys, until we find another battle. We'll be right back. All right, boys, we got a game and, and girls, you know, and whatever you identify as, whatever. Uh, we, we have a game uh, versus Gully. Now, I absolutely love Dragon Dance Combo versus him. Beautiful versus him. He obviously does have Arcanine though, which is a problem. Uh, we're going to lead off with our seismic toad because that means we can get up our rocks immediately. He's gonna U-turn out to Rotom though, most likely. I didn't want to risk my Gliscor right there because I, I didn't want him, um... Is this a problem for him if he defogs? What we'll Toxic you? I don't care if you Leaf Storm here. Um, Sizing Toad isn't as useful and I don't want Gliscor coming in. Actually, opts the Volter, so that's great. So get off a nice little Toxic on Rotom. I'm getting Gliscor now because it also blocks another Volt Switch as well as he goes for Leaf Storm, which I do manage to tank, thankfully, as that boy is Life Warp Rotom. What the hell, man? Oh, that's gonna be, that's a little bit bad. That's okay, though. We're getting Lottie right now as he goes for another Leaf Storm. And this should give me my, uh, my Gliscor back in versus Empoleon or on a Volt Switch or something like that. Yeah, so we get in my Gliscor. Uh, I'm gonna have to roost right now. I'll take. I, I should eat one skull. Uh, never mind. I'm not supposed to have. But thankfully, he opts a defog right there. So I'm able to get Gliscor at a respectable range to actually take on Beedrill. And I'm able to bring out my Sizing Toad right now, which can still get up my rocks. So I don't mind him going Lottie. Only thing that can knock me out is Gregonium. And oh, wait. I have no switch into that. Haha. <laughs> so go Mag. As he goes for that Dragonium right there. Let me just Volt Switch out as he goes Arcanine. So, uh, not only does this give me just a little bit more recovery with my Glide score, which I think is super, eh, actually no. Let's get in Sizing Toad and get up our rocks. I still get recovery with Sizing Toad as well, so it's the same thing. And we also know that that's not Scarf Ladia, so he doesn't have a Scarf, which means that my Como can really put in work. Uh, so Rotom comes out, looking for my Switch and like, why is it Life Orb? <laughs> Go Lottie, and I can always sack Magneton whenever he gets in his own Lottie. Ah, beautiful, 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 beautiful. I don't mind him going for Leaf Storm again, but if he wants to go for that Volt Switch, I get in my Glide Score, which is faster, and I get up at near 100%, which is amazing. Latias comes out. Draco has a problem. And he has Ice Beam too, man. Devastating Drake Ice Beam. Come on, dude. Ah. I'm gonna get Como and I hope he doubles out to Empoleon. There we go. I'm in. I'm in this. He roars me out and we have Soundproof. Let's go, Como. Woo. Go ahead and give me that KO. Hold up. Como might just win right here because of that Soundproof. <laughs> oh, Arcanine ain't living this Z. There's no way defensive Arcanine lives this. That's a neutral Z move. Honestly, I can set up safely. Let me... Okay, 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 okay. Stop, 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 stop. Calm down, me. I'm getting a little bit hyped because Combo put it in work. Calm down. It's okay. Let's see. Let's just see, you know. Usa. Usa. Comma O. Oh. Custom set, Arcanine. Why did I say it like that? Let's see this Impish. So Impish Intimidate, that's Outrage. Obviously that's minus one, let's put a plus one. So we're at neutral, okay, cool. 59 minimum to defensive Arcanine. Good, now we know. Awesome, there you go. Nice little Calc. Nice little Calc. And I'm fast on Lottie too, which is amazing. I just don't want to Outrage because like, I'm worried about uh, Snorlax. And he's smart to go this because, I, I, again, I don't want to outrage. <laughs> As he U-turns. 
Uh, now we have the damage on Beedrill with rocks to the point where he, do he goes down to Ice Punch. Getting Young Lottie right here. And with the Draco. Hey, okay, awesome. So now you can't even KO uh, that Mon. And Snorlax is going to come out. Why not? Dragon Dance up. Paralyzes me immediately, unfortunately. <sighs> unfortunately, <laughs> this close combat is still going to do a ton. Or not. Or not. Haha. <laughs> I don't even want to trick here because it can go Beedrill, but thankfully he doesn't. Yeah, that really sucks. I don't think I can even win this game now. Remember when my Como won just by clicking close comment, but then he got the body slam pair on me? Okay, there might there might still be a way I can win this. If Sir Perry eats us enough. Cause I gotta I gotta sub. I gotta sub a lot and get off enough damage to the point where Earthquake knocks him out from Seismic Toad. Which I think is next turn. Hidden Power Fire deals with the Beedrill switching. Let's go. Did not do enough. Don't be fell, Stinger. Seismic Toad should win. Seismic Toad should win. I don't have Earthquake. Oh, crap. That should be okay, though. He got the poison off on me too. Come on, dude. Ah, if you didn't get the poison, I just won. I literally won the game right there if you didn't get the poison. Because I live body slam 100%. Like, you see that, right? And then I click knock off next turn and just win. Good game, man. Ah, Yeah, he, he dipped. He knows he got lucky. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Why was the game so against me in that one? I just wanted to win. And Como was putting in so much work too. If he didn't paralyze me, oof. Anyway, last game. Sub belly drum Como this time. Soundproof was clutch. Woo! We got Choice Band Drapion with Sniper. Um, Life Orb, man, uh, Life Orb <laughs> Brillum. We actually have a Defog team with Sticky Web, which is interesting to me. Um, Lemons and Mayo passed it to me, but still should be some fun. And that last game, I counted that as a W too. <laughs> no, that's not a W. That's, that's Pokemon, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, if... Basically, if Como didn't, the reason I went for HP Fire as well is because I, I didn't want, I, ideally, I didn't want, um, ideally, I didn't want uh, Seismic Toad in versus the, actually, no, uh, maybe it was better that I got the HP Fire, because I, I just realized I didn't have Earthquake on Seismic Toad, so, uh, but if he didn't get the poison either way, I went for Scald, and then I went for Knock Off, and then I guarantee knocked him out. Unfortunately, the game said no. Uh, we'll pause it because we can't seem to find our last battle. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got one. Um, I don't know how I felt about Belly Drum Como on this, especially because he has like Hydreigon on his squad. Uh, I have double defog on the team. I just realized that. We'll lead Mandibliz. His Azoff is a likely lead. Have fun, man. If he booms, does that matter? No, because I, I just roost and get right back at full. So we uh, get our Mana Buzz back at full, which is awesome. Uh, he doesn't actually Oko me with anything on his team, even Ice Beam from like Needle King. Beedra comes out. I'm just going to Defog right here, as he's supposed Probably going to U-turn. Yep, get some nice little chip off on Beedra. Okay, that's going to help out Como. You know, maybe now plus six will kill three of those. So get our Defog as Needle Queen is going to come out. And uh, Masquerade is faster, so I'm actually going to go for a Sticky Web with it. I don't want this going down because it deals with Hydreigon, Scizor, and Machamp to an extent. Can't freeze me because of his ability. Sticky Webber up. I'm assuming because he's running offense as well that he doesn't have hazard control. Nice. And now we can go Latias and just click Psychic. As he goes Scizor, which is a smart play. Are you Pursuit? Are you SD? I feel like you're SD on this type of team. 
which Mandibuzz is literally there for. Ooh, is that bandit damage? I can't tell. Hydreigon comes out, and Drapion looking expendable. Honestly. As he does drop a Draco on me, and he has Life Orb. Does Como live uh, minus two? I do, for the most part. Hmm. I mean, I can just drop a Drake on him. Like, what's his resistance to it? It's Scizor, which is that already so low. I don't know, because Como can set up on Beedrill, technically. If this is Kamal Lottie, I just won the game right now. Please land. Thank you. We sack Mandibuzz. Yep, Rocky Helmet, good B. Okay, so no dragon uh, immunity. Beedrill's gonna come out, knock me out, but take the chip damage so it actually goes down as well. And my uh, my Brelum actually goes in too. I'm surprised it knocked me out, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go for sub right here. If you opposite, do you turn actually knock me out? Crap, if I would've known that U-turn knocked me out, I would've let him uh, just attack me. I think we honestly just mock punch through, I wanna say? Yeah, cause then I could just psychic spam. You have to jab right here, right? And I'm that was slower. So let's see. I think we might lose to Machamp, but uh, otherwise, Lottie might be able to psychic spam through. Needle Queen eats, right? There's no way it doesn't. Yep, just barely. Did I have rocks on this team? I did not. So the only thing I could have done differently was with Como, just Dragon Claw Beedrill. And then that would have made that would probably been the better play. Just Dragon Claw that Beedrill and pray. But I'm assuming it's Assault Vest Machamp. I think otherwise you'd run something like Heracross. I feel like. There's no way my champ dies though, unless it's actually no investment, right? Latias is unfortunately a little bit weak. Oh, that's a roll if he's no investment. Oh, he just crits me anyway. Ha ha ha. That definitely did not knock me out. That needs a guts boost. Ah, uh, good game. Uh, but it was a roll anyway to knock him out, so it's okay. Don't worry about it, my man. Uh, I'm assuming he was guts because it had bullet punch on it too. So uh, you see, this is the roll with actual flame orb. So let's get rid of flame orb, and the most he could do is 20. And then my uh, my psychic had a 62% chance to Oka right there. But that's you know that's, that's Pokemon for you. Last two games. I went there though. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.